Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Friday, February the 24th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and I am here to read for you from the Revised Common Lectionary for Friday before the first Sunday in Lent. And we are going to read Psalm 51, a continuous reading from Jonah following yesterday's reading and a continuous reading from the book of Romans, the letter to the Romans uh, following yesterday's reading. So we begin now with Psalm 51. To the choir master, a Psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet went to him after he had gone into Bathsheba, have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For you will not delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You will not be pleased with burnt offering. The sacrifices of God or a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. And now from the book of the prophet Jonah. Uh, this is a continuous reading following yesterday's reading from chapter 4 or 3. We now follow on chapter 4. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was angry. And he prayed to the Lord and said, O oh Lord, it is, not, is not this what I said when I was yet in my country? That is why I made haste to flee to Tarshish. For I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and relenting from disaster. Therefore now, O Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, Do you do well to be angry? Jonah went out of the city and sat to the east of the city and made a booth for himself there. And he sat under it in the shade till he should see what would become of the city. Now the Lord God appointed a plant and made it come up over Jonah that it might be a shade over his head to save him from his discomfort. So Jonah was exceedingly glad because of the plant. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. And when the sun rose, God appointed a scorching east wind, and the sun beat down on the head of Jonah so that he was faint. And he asked that he might die and said, It is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, Do you do well to be angry for the plant? 
And Jonah said, Yes, I do well to be angry, angry enough to die. And the Lord said, You pity the plant for which you did not labor, nor did you make it grow, which came into being in a night and perished in a night. And should not I pity Nineveh, that great city in which there are more than 120,000 persons who do not know their right hand from their left, and also much cattle? And now the reading from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 1, verses 8 to 17, following on after the uh, reading we did yesterday. The Apostle writes, First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you, because your faith is proclaimed in all the world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I mention you always in my prayers, asking that somehow, by God's will, I may now at last succeed in coming to you. For I long to see you, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to strengthen you. That is, that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that I have often intended to come to you, but thus far have been prevented, in order that I might reap some harvest among you as well as among the rest of the Gentiles. I am under obligation both to Greeks and to barbarians, both to the wise and to the foolish, so I am eager to preach the gospel to you also who are in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it is the righteousness of God, It is revealed from faith for faith, as it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. Dear friends, I commend you for spending just a few minutes uh, listening to the scriptures being read and contemplating their truth. Father God, this is your eternal word. May you be praised for the generous provision of it to us and grant through the power of your Holy Spirit that it may enter into us as we read it and hear it and that it may enter into our minds and hearts and souls and work in us what is good and pleasing to your will, which we pray to your great glory in the name of Christ. Amen. Again, friends, take time. Read the scriptures. I've... I've, uh, Put the references in the description part of this video, and until we can be together again to hear the scriptures for the next day, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom.